Hello, um, I thought I'd do a vlog. I just did a video about product placement in YouTube videos, but, um, I thought I'd do a vlog. So, oh, Neve wants to be in the video. Hi, Neve. Come here. This is Neve. <laughs> yeah. Say hi. Nope. Okay. Meow. <laughs> Stop it. Um, okay. Yeah, she's not gonna stop. I'll just keep going. <laughs> so, um, I've been, uh, listening to, uh, some of Black Audio's, uh, newer stuff. Um, um, I don't know if you guys, uh, Black Audio is an electronic group. They make, they're, they're fantastic. Um, their first album came out quite a while ago, and they're, they're also in AFI, which... AFI is my favorite band. Um, if you haven't noticed, you know, but AFI is my favorite band, and you know, I, I also very much enjoy Black Audio. Um, and they've been just kind of they've been coming. Bright Black Heaven, I guess, is going to be their next album, and they've said, "Oh, we're going to come out with an album this time." It just keeps, you know, I understand because it also AFI so you know it doesn't really you know I'm just glad that they're coming out with more stuff but they've been releasing songs on YouTube um or at least there have been you know songs been bleh released and I will link to the channel that has like a lot of their songs on new songs on it but um their new stuff is fantastic um it's just fantastic I don't know Davy Havoc's voice is just ugh I love that man. He is absolutely my hero. Um, and I can go into that for. Uh, I love Davy Havoc so much. He is just like the biggest inspiration for me ever. I love him. Um, but there, I. Um, it's hard for me to pick favorite songs by people. Like AFI, cannot pick a favorite song. They're you know they're my favorite band. I could I can't even pick a favorite album. Um, but. Um, I don't know. This their new song Bliss, or one of the newer ones, Bliss is. Oh, my fan. Uh, I think it's become my new favorite Black Audio song. Um, I will link it down there. It's uh, that's fantastic. Um, but all their new stuff is just I don't know, so good. Ill at Ships is really pretty. Um, but I'll link you to Bliss and then that channel. That you just go to the channel. Um, that that video that. You know, and check out some of their other songs. Just look them up. I mean, if you if you haven't heard Black Audio, listen to them. If you like electronica, like good, really good electronica music, it's you know, I don't know, I, I love it. I don't know exactly what genre to classify. I don't know. My friend like knows all his electronica, techno kind of subgenres, and I just am like, you know what? I just think electronica with vocals, techno without, and you know, so there's just all kinds of different subgenres like house and whatever the I don't know you have to ask Brandon but um I don't know um they're just I, I just I really wish they would just come out with their album like the they have tracks announced that are going to be on the album apparently but they like haven't released it and they have a song called After Dark that's going to be on apparently there's a new Batman movie coming out or something that's going to be on the soundtrack to that which, you know, I'm, I'm all for it. I'll probably buy the soundtrack to get the song, because it's a good song. Um, but they were... The Love Letter, which is one of my favorite songs off of Sex Cells, and it was in the previews for The Eye, or The Eyes or whatever, like that movie about the girl who has to have, like, the eye transplant. She sees, like, the girls. It's weird. It was a good... Thanks, Neve. It was a good movie. I'm not gonna lie. It was a good movie. But I went to see because I'm like, oh my god, the love letter is going to be in it. And then it wasn't. I was kind of pissed. But I'm like, it was still a good movie, so it was okay. But, um, I don't know. It's like, if if the songs actually... Like, that's kind of something that I'm like, you know what? A soundtrack should be songs that are in the movie. Like, in it. And sometimes it's not like... They did an Alice in Wonderland soundtrack for Tim Burton's Alice. And the soundtrack was really good. But the soundtrack was just songs by artists, you know, that weren't particularly in the movie. Um, which was fine, but, but it wasn't called the soundtrack, it was Almost Alice, I think it was, which had some really good songs on it, except for I don't like Avril Lavigne, 
I used to like Avril Lavigne, and I can go into that forever, but she just, she fucked herself over by selling out hardcore. Which, you know, actually I'm going to do a video, I wanted to do a video about, to me, people like look at, when people saying a band sells out when they really don't, like, they are making money! But they're still being themselves, but they're actually making money off of their music, which is what their whole intention was. They're a sellout, you know. And I was, I'm was i going to do a video talking about people like that who annoy me. But Though Avril Lavigne, I believe, legitimately did sell out. She just... Wow. Whatever. Um, but this piece of hair is really annoying. I don't know why. It doesn't know where it wants. It needs to go here, but it keeps falling over, and it's pissing me off. Um, yeah, this is an exciting vlog, isn't it? Me going on and on about black audio. But I do love black audio. They make me happy. In so many ways. Like, they're just, ugh. Davey Havoc. Mm. He's everything. He's so awesome. I'm not going, mm, just because he's attractive. I'm, mm, because he, he's like, he's just so, I don't know, there's some, like, he's just so interesting. Um. There's this video I watched, he was talking about being straight edge, and like, he's just so, he sounds so intelligent. The man is really smart. Um, there's this one video, um, where he's talking about why he doesn't wear his lip ring anymore. It's funny. Um, I'll link those videos down there, because they're funny. Um, but, yeah. Oh, this is like my prized possession. My mom got it for me for Christmas. It's a Japanese December Underground, like the Japanese version, and it has like a bonus DVD. It's like the CD and the DVD, and it has music videos and an interview. And then what's so cool is it comes with Japanese lyrics. Like, uh, let's see if it'll pick it up. Sorry if there's like a glare. I think you can kind of, you can see. I'm sorry if it's flipped, if it's backwards. I, I don't know, it's the settings on mine. But otherwise, the inside's the same. It, I don't think it has the English lyrics for dumb rabbits or roadkill and don't change and it's like a hole, but whatever. Um, but this is like my f favorite thing I own besides the vinyl. I love vinyl. Which anyone knows where I can find a decent, I know it's not going to be cheap, but a, at least a decently priced Sing the Sorrow vinyl. I've been looking for it. I have, I got December and I have this special edition one that's like all individual, like the clear uh, records and like the box. It's multiple. It's really pretty. I got that when December Underground came out. And then I got Crash Love when Crash Love came out on vinyl. And then I have they re-came out with uh, The Art of Drowning and Black Sails. So I have Black Sails, Art of Drowning, December Underground and Sing the Sorrow. December Underground. No, fail. December Underground and Crash Love. I want Sing the Sorrow. But I don't know. They need to re either re-release it or it needs to be easier to get because I really, really want it. So if anyone knows where I can find it, decently priced, let me know. Because I'm trying to collect all of their albums on vinyl. Because I like vinyl. I'm not gonna lie, if you actually have a decent record player, vinyl to me sounds better than CDs. Or like, MP3s. Vinyl is fantastic. If you've never listened to vinyl, go listen to it. Bec on a decent record player, not like a cheap ass one. But like a decent record player with good speakers and stuff, it, it vinyl is fantastic. I like vinyl. Um, I also have Black Veil Brides al album on vinyl. I, mean, I don't have their second album yet. It's weird. Like... I like, this is getting long, but I keep thinking of things to say. Colored vinyl's awesome. Like, the, I don't remember, one's gray and one's, like, black, kind of a tie-dye-ish. And then December one's clear. And Crash Love's just shiny vinyl black. And, like, I think the art of, the Black Sales is, like, a grayish, I don't remember, but they're, like, colored. The Black Veil Brides album is bright-ass orange. I don't know why. It's cool. It's like clear, bright orange. It's really random. They're, it, I don't know. Um, I also have a little like picture disc with Miss Murder and Rabbits or Roadkill. That's enough. This is getting long. So, what is my vlog? 
for? Well, actually, you know, it's only 11.07 a.m. I might make a vlog later or something if I hang out with, like, Brad or something. And Kyle, if you're watching this, you have to try and get a hang out with Brad so we can, so I can see you later. But, um, yeah. I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.